Ooh, it's a brand new season, season 9 for Go Battle League. And we also have a brand new meta Pokemon to use in the Great League. And that's none other than this coughing Pokemon, Configurigus. Alright, so hi, hi to all of you guys. So indeed today we'll be using this brand new crazy meta Pokemon. Why is it so crazy? It's because it received a brand new fast move Shadow Claw. So before it received Shadow Claw, before season 9, it's actually very very bad. It's actually, you know, so bad that it has a win rate of roughly under 20%. But after it received Shadow Claw, its win rate jumped all the way to above 70%, bringing the win rate increase by like around 50%, which is just insane. So I caught this particular uh, Configurigus, actually not a Configurigus, but a Yamask. Alright, you have to get it as a Yamask, and it appears during Halloween events only. To evolve into Configurigus, when I was in Taiwan, and the IVs are 11511 back in 2019. <laughs> So we are going to use this Pokemon, but before we do that though, let's go ahead and turn up the volume. Let's go ahead into Go Battle League and let's go ahead to search for a battle. And I've already used the premium uh, rate pass. So we'll be doing that and we are already in uh, rank 5. Alright, I've won some and lost some also. I think this team that I'm using can still be improved. I am thinking to actually bring in Sable Eye actually, but um, we're going to make do with it right now. And uh, my Medicham, alright, is finally running Ice Punch and Psychic because uh, I think that I would prefer to try this, uh, you know, uh, charge move out because I normally would use a uh, power up punch and also ice punch. However, I feel that psychic actually uh, comes in handy in a lot of situations. And we found a battle already. Let's see who we get matched up with against uh, Rizzi Rivi. Okay, cool. He's also rank five, right? I guess he wrongly. Okay, maybe I did. I don't know. So we got Bastiodon in the house. So, Configurigus, first of all, the defense stats of this particular Pokemon is just insane. Of course, it's not going to beat out certain Pokemon like Bastiodon in terms of defense-wise. But it's just insane in terms of how much damage it can deal. And, you know, running uh, Shadow Claw charges up energy and deals so much damage with it. Of course, with uh, Dark Pulse and also uh, Shadow Ball, you know, it does super effective to the same typing. Ghost and also Psychic. So... It has another charge move that's Psychic also, but I'm not going to run Psychic because uh, I guess I have Medicham to play that role already. Okay, we have a big problem now, guys. You know what's the problem? The problem is Sable Eye actually uh, handles two of my Pokemon very, very well. So we have a big problem, and this is a Return Sable Eye, but he's going to use Foul Play because a Return Sable Eye... Return will actually do uh, not very effective damage to a uh, Stun Fisk since it is a uh, part Steel also. So uh, let's see what's he going to do. I'm going to... Wow, wow. Okay, that, that's how fast it charges up the energy though. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's just insane. Okay, let's see how much damage this would do, provided he does not shield. Okay, yeah, my Medicham obviously can take out the Bastiodon without a problem at all. Okay, so he's gonna shield that. Let's go ahead to fire off another Rock Slide because his Foul Play is almost ready already. I think just two more Shadow... One more Shadow Claw it should be ready. Okay, let's go ahead to fire off our Rock Slide again. He's going to not shoot that right now. Okay, good. Okay, he's charging a bit of energy. That's totally fine. Okay. It's a bit worrying now, guys. Yeah. Okay, we got Foul Play coming in. And uh, if you guys also notice that I'm actually uh, putting out this video on a very different uh, time from my usual upload schedule because I'm planning to put out a Go Battle League video once every two days. So uh, alternating days from my usual schedule, I'll actually be putting out, yep, a Go Battle League video. Oh my god, please. Okay, we got it. Cool. So uh, I'm thinking to actually slowly make my way up to like rank 20 and per perhaps even a legend rank, provided I can make it. Okay, we're going to bring uh, Medicham now instantly. Okay, he's going to switch into his very own Medicham, which isn't a good thing for us. I mean, uh, if he has... If, if, if my Coffer Grigress is against his Medicham, it would be really, really awesome. Alright, but still, it will suffer pretty good amount of damage from a Psychic alone. Okay. So, a bit worrying, a bit worrying, a bit worrying, a bit worrying. What is he going to do now? I do not know. Another Psychic can take out his uh, Medicham already. And uh, I'm not too sure if it's going to be enough for me to actually uh, take out his uh, Bastiodon with my uh, Medicham with that amount of health left. I don't think an Ice Punch would be enough to take him out. I mean, he could have done Ice Punch on me to take me out. 
Okay, but uh, a, a ice punch from me would not be enough to take out his Medicham, so let's go ahead to do that. Let's go ahead to see how much uh, we are able to do to the Bastidon, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. That was a close one. That was a very close one. Okay, but uh, still okay, still okay. Let's go into battle number two right away, okay? Yep. So we are matched up against uh, someone already. Let's see, come on. Please do not like <laughs> quit as in the game. We got matched up against uh, Chao Kuoti, okay? We got Deoxys, very good lead for us. Very, very good lead. The first Deoxys that I see in the gold battle. Okay, we're gonna have to switch into our Galarian stun phase, guys. Okay, so remember that Weather Ball actually got a nerf, which is a very good thing for us right now because none of my Pokemon are using Weather Ball. Alright, every single Weather Ball, the damage has dropped by 5 during this season, so we're not going to suffer as much damage as uh, before. Okay, but I mean Galarian... Alright, sure. Alright, sure. I mean, I could do two Rock Slides already. Uh, once I fire off another uh, Mud Shot. Two more Mud Shots, sorry. Okay, so Rock Slide going in. Let's see uh, if he's going to shield or not. I probably can get to another Rock Slide before he can fire off another Weather Ball. So that's good for us. Okay, let's see what's he going to do. Is he going to shield this or not? I'm not too sure. High chance he wouldn't shield this, then he'll bring in Deoxys, I suppose so. To farm me down. Okay, he decided to shield that. That's also totally fine. I'm thinking if I should actually um, shield this or not. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm going to shield this. Because he has Deoxys, I do not want to lose on Switch. Oh my god, what the... Yeah, I need to get rid of the Alolan Nine Tails, guys. I need to get rid of it. Okay, I mean Dazzling Gleam would do like very painful damage to my Medicham or so. Okay, let's see now. Okay, he's gonna shoot that or so. Wow, what a play! What are you doing? Okay, he wants to take me out. Sure, man, go ahead. This is not very good, right? I mean, I can always bring Configurus to farm him down. Whew, our Medicham to farm down. I know he has a Deoxys. So he's probably going to bring in the other Pokemon. Okay, let's uh, take out the uh, Alola Nine Tails first. Yep, did that relatively easily. Let's see, Deoxys coming in. And you know what? Let's, let's see. Okay, wow, very good. See, I needed, this, I needed to win Switch just now. That's not very good, guys. I don't think this is good for us. You know, Confrigrigris is actually weak to Pokemon like Umbreon, Sable Eye, and even uh, anything that uh, kind of resists the moves, like even a normal fighting typing Pokemon. Or, you see, I'm just showing you guys the damage right now because I know I'm going to lose already. Okay. So, you see, Dark Pulse versus uh, Shadow Ball. Oh, wow. I did almost the same amount of damage. I might as well just lose right now. So anyway, Configurus, you know, is weak to like dark typing Pokemon. There's nothing that you can technically do against a dark typing Pokemon like in this scenario that I'm in right now. So it's really, really bad. Even if you have Psychic as your charge move, <laughs> you can't do anything. Yeah, so that is the very bad thing. Especially, you know, I see a lot of people using Umbreon. I, so far, I've not seen anyone use uh, Configurus. I guess because it is still a pretty hard Pokemon to uh, obtain because uh, most people didn't bother about getting a Configurus. Uh, you know, before Season 9, since you can only get it through, um, you know, evolving your Yamask. And the Yamask, the Yamask uh, can only be obtained during Halloween events, like I said. So Halloween event is coming soon, so I guess people will be, I guess, uh, hunting for Yamask. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to win this at all. I'm just going to save a bit of time and surrender because, um, nope. He can just uh, cycle boost me and then after the Umbreon come in and do another uh, charge move and I basically will faint. So I'm just going to save a bit of time for the both of us. That's not rich quit, that's saving time for the both of us. Alright, we got the next battle coming in right now. And let's see who we're going to get matched up with. And that is going to be against Moguo Moguo. Okay, sounds like a Chinese name. Okay, we got Drift Bloom. This is quite interesting. I I've not um, faced up against Drift Bloom against my, uh, with my Configurus yet. So let's see how this is going to play out. Okay, I can either go for... Uh, Dark Pulse or Shadow Ball. This is probably going to be uh, Icy Wind. Okay. Yes. But I'm going to go with uh, Shadow Ball. Let's see uh, what's he going to do. I, I, I should have gone with Dark Pulse. High chance people would shield this. Yeah, it's okay. No worries. 
Okay, yeah, see, I'm so right. I, I, I'm so stupid. I should have gone with the Dark Pulse, guys. Okay, let's go ahead to uh, shield this, I suppose. Okay, now, we got one shield, one shield. I see Wind comes in again. Okay, that's totally fine. We're gonna use a uh, Dark Pulse this, this time. It's enough to take out the Drift Bloom already, but that's assuming I did not get a <laughs> debuff. I'm not sure if the deep. Okay, sure. If you wanna do that. Could I, should I have actually gone for a Dark Pulse all the way though? Would, I, would that have been better? Yeah, would that have been better? I, I'm not too sure man. Could, could I actually get to another... Could I actually get to another Dark Pulse? Oh no! That was stupid! That was really dumb! No! That was the stupidest thing I did! To have shielded that! Should I, could, I could have gone for triple uh, Dark Pulse instead. Yeah, I could have gone for triple Dark Pulse. Yeah, if I did not um, use the Shadow Ball just now, the first one was Shadow Ball, right? Okay, that's quite interesting to know. I'm still like figuring out um, how to play, you know, certain matchups. Yeah, I did not even go through like PB Poke and uh, look through what is good and what's not good, but I just uh, play accordingly for now. Let's see what's he gonna bring in. That's not really good for us as a Medicham. Okay, he's bringing in uh, something that's Ice Typing. That's actually very good for us, but he's gonna Icy Win us, which is also not good. Okay, we're gonna then uh, use Psychic on it because it double resists Ice. Don't forget, Dugong is a Water and Ice type Pokemon. It double resists Ice, which is not gonna be good. In this scenario, actually, if I have if I have Power Up Punch, mm, if I have Power Up Punch and Psychic, I think it might be a better option. Even Power Up Punch and Ice Punch would be a better option because I could um, use the Power Up Punch to farm down the uh, Dugong. And then subsequently do a uh, Psychic or in fact a Ice Punch on the Medicham. But we look to be pretty okay right now. We could just fire off a Psychic first. Oh my god, Brandon! You don't even know how to do excellent on the Psychic already, okay? We did quite okay damage. We have to land an Earthquake on the Medicham. Okay, but I'm not sure if he's gonna farm me down or what. Okay, no, he did not farm me down. I was going for Ice Punch actually. Okay, take me out. Take me up. Please don't be, up, be power up punch. Okay, good. Now, let's go for Earthquake. We should be fine. We should be fine. We should be good. We should be fine, right? We should be fine, right? 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 I think so, right? We will not be taken out with uh, by anything unless it is <laughs> power uh, Dynamic Punch. That will really suck. Okay, we got that. Dynamic Punch will definitely take out my Galarian Stun Fisk. But uh, I think I could have gotten to Earthquake before the Dynamic Punch... Uh, you know, comes. So we are good. We won this one really good. Um, I guess uh, Configurigus uh, did pretty okay. I could have played it better. That was my bad. But luckily we still scored the win for this. Let's go into the next battle and I think that is battle number 4. I believe so. Okay, let's go into battle number 4 straight away. Battle starting already. Okay. So let's see now. Who are we matched up with? Come on. Come on. Pierre. Alright, we got matched up with Saboshi35. Nice. Okay. Let's see what's he gonna bring in. Bastiodon. A lot of people are using Bastiodon, yeah, so far that I've noticed. Okay, that's pretty alright. Okay, we're gonna go with Shadow Balls all the way. Definitely. Okay. Okay, we got that. Nice. The Smackdown didn't come true. Nice. Okay. Let's see how much this does. Very little. Actually, it's like very, very little. Around 30% uh, health onto Bastiodon. Remember, Bastiodon is super duper tanky. We're gonna have to shield this. Yeah, for now. Later, we will see how it goes. Okay. Stone Edge, obviously. That will do more damage than Flamethrower. Nobody will run a Flash Cannon on Bastiodon. Okay, we got the next Shadow Ball coming in. I'm not sure if he's gonna shield this though. There's a chance that he might. He might want to preserve the health of... Uh, yep, I was right, man. Okay, I'm thinking if I should actually pull a switch into Medicham. Okay, so soak the... Come on. No! I was gonna say, I hope he was going to Stone Edge me. <laughs> I didn't need to shoot that, though. If he were to Stone Edge me. But see, Sable Eye. A lot of people are using Sable Eye. I might actually want to bring in Sable Eye also. It's actually really, really good in the meta in the Great League meta and uh, yeah, it's just so good man, especially, I, I mean I do have a return uh, Sable Eye. Yeah, this is going to be foul play. I'm, just, I'm going to let this go through. I could survive this. Alright, I could survive this and then uh, fire off an Ice Punch. Okay, cool. Yep. 
Okay, my Galarian Stun Fist can still handle the uh, the uh, Bastion Dawn, provided it doesn't fire off a Flame Throw on me. So I'm thinking what I should do. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna bring in uh, Galarian Stun Fist to farm down the uh, Sable Eye. I'm gonna let this go through, so it's gonna be foul play. He might be able to fire off a second foul play onto my Galarian Stun Fist, which I guess I would shield if needed. All right. Can I? No. Okay, good. Very good. Very, very good. He's definitely not going to bring in Bastiodon, right? Is he? Maybe Bastiodon and after that... Oh my god, that's not good. That is totally not good. Oh, crap. You know what? I should have gone with just Dark Pulse alone because Dark Pulse is enough to take out the uh, Bastiodon, right? I just saw the health. Yeah, very good job, Brandon, you stupid. All right, let's go ahead to shoot this. Oh my god. Uh... Oh my god. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it going to be enough to farm down the Bastiodon? I don't think so, man. I don't think it's going to be enough to farm down the Bastiodon at all. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? And okay, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Come on, Shadow Ball. On the Medicham. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I've not seen how much damage this would do onto a Medicham, to be very honest with you guys. But with that, wow. Okay, with a few Shadow Claws, it should be enough to take out the Medicham already, like right now. And that's how you use Config Regress. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now my iPad is in a coffin state also. Yeah, black screen for such a long time. Whoa, that was a good one. Okay, let's go into the final battle right now. And uh, hopefully we can score the last win. And uh, we're going to get matched up against anybody. Come on, please. Hurry up, please. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, yes. See, you have to, like, back to... Uh, Get the battle matched up. We got matched up against Hidamari 024 0204. Yeah, okay, let's go, man. Okay, we got Obstigun. Very interesting. I don't think this is very good for us. I don't think this is very good for us. Okay, but I'm just gonna farm energy first. Like I said, once you're faced up against a duck typing Pokemon, we have a big problem already when you are using Config Regress. Okay, I'm gonna pull a switch into Medicham right now. Okay, we got... Wow, oh my god. That is not very good. Okay. You know what? Let's go with Psychic Straight. Let's see what we can do. He's probably gonna go with Poison Fang, though. He's probably gonna go with Poison Fang. Okay, please don't chill. Come on, one shot it. Ah! It's okay, no worries. Come to think of it. What's the move that the Gobat is using for the fast move? Am I seeing it right? Ah, oh, crap. I see. I forgot that it's gonna be Poison Fang. Wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, it's wing attack. Okay, it's wing attack. It's cool. No! See, stop talking, Brandon. Shut up. Okay, you need to focus. This is actually my first time fighting someone using a Gobat, to be very honest with you guys also. Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, what was his first Pokemon? Uh, Obstigoon, right? Oh, 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 yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, guys. I'm totally dead. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> look at that. I'm totally dead. Okay, we're gonna fire off Rock Slide right now. I'm totally dead. I can't do anything to the Obstigoon. Okay, you guys know what? I'm gonna farm down the... Uh... Okay, Poison Fang. I mean, it reduced my defense, which is not really a good thing because the Night Slash from the Obstigoon will deal more damage. Alright, cool. Obstigoon, like I said, is coming in. Okay, we got Snow uh, Shadow Ball. I almost said Snowball. Yeah, okay, cool. Wow. So, Dark Typing Pokemon. I actually wanted to... Wow, look at the damage, see? I purposely did that, obviously, because it's triple resisted. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can win already, so I might as well just show you guys some stupid stuff, right? Oh, look at that again. Wow! Guys, please do not use Shadow Ball or Obstagoon, okay? Use the Dark Pulse, obviously. It will do more damage than the Shadow Ball. <laughs> I just want to show you guys that because I don't think I can win really. It's a very low chance that I can He has one shield left and he still has another full health Pokemon. Which I highly doubt will be like, yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <coughs> like I said, this is the first time I see someone using uh, Obstagoon. And uh, Obstagoon is actually very good, but... I've never used it in the Great League before. I've used it in the Ultra League. I think so. Yeah. So, um... I think I've used it in the Great League, so I cannot remember, guys. But look at that. I'm dead. I'm really dead. Wow, look. 
Oh yay! Oh needle queen! I love the needle queen. Come on, take me out. I'm triple resisted to your poison fang, but take me out. Yeah, I'm still gonna lose, guys. Yeah, poison fang. Boom. Dead. <laughs> what? I'm still alive. <laughs> that's so stupid, guys. All right. So I think that's the last battle that I have to show to you guys. Really good effort, Brandon. You suck, Brandon. All right. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me use uh, Config Rigorous, man. I mean, it's a very interesting Pokemon to use. However, uh, I think I can pair it up with something better. Though you know, Medicham and uh, Galarian Stunfish they are ranked really high in the Great League. But uh, go ahead and try it out if you have one yourself. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Maybe we use another Pokemon, not Conflict Grigris, obviously. We're going to use something else. Uh, what are we going to use? I don't know, maybe Rune Grigris? Yeah. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. I said that already. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!